Hello teachers, welcome to our last video. My name is Kapunguji from Soke, a teacher at Yosia Girls High School, found in Mukoba. Uh, we are here to look at our last video, which is going to sum up what we looked at yesterday. Yesterday we looked at the cellula, we looked at the report, and also the fees balance sheet. We are today we are going to sum up so that we can produce the other final results. So we had 30 students for the circular and the school phase balance school fees balance we are going to produce all those 30 uh, circulars or fees balance kits and while we had the reports you know we made reports for 300 students we are going to have all that 300 reports made let us go to the demonstration thank you very much uh, fellow teachers yes welcome to this session now this is the computer session at the demonstration as uh, we are starting with the fees balance sheet this is where we stopped yesterday after having filled in the information if you try to look at the names here the names are already there the name of the student their respective class and their fees balance we can see this one is for christian Mubalua, we can check out another one, Colin Masana Joseph, that one has a, their balance here, and so forth. So after having made this, we can go on and finalize. You go here, check on your right hand here, at the extreme end, there is a word finish and merge. Check there, we can, when you print it, press it, it will give you edit in the video document, uh, there is print documents and then send email message we can decide to first check out we can say edit in video document it has given us a dialog box here in the inside the dialog box we are having merge to new document uh, we have all current record and from we can say all we need all of them choose now this is an this is another document different from the first one we looked at if you try to look at this one this one here on top it is labeled letter one if i try to bring it closer if you see here it is labeled letter one this letter one now are our full uh school fees balance sheets if you see this page here it is reading student name class so this one may not be uh, of importance to us if you go to the next one the next one is for Ambari Omali, followed by the one which follows Anthony Francis. And if we go down, we can see we have uh, that of Blessing Christopher. Down here we have Christian Mbalwa. If we continue, we have Colin. All the reports of all the students. Now this is a blank page at the end. Uh, if we see, it even has no student here. Uh, we can even delete this page. This one has no student. And this one is for Daniel. So we can decide to delete these two, which are not of any importance to us. Those ones have come in as excess, excess reports. We also have the first report, sorry, the first sheet. If you see here, it has student name. We can decide to delete this one. Delete it and now we can see if you read it down here, it is telling us we have 30 of them. Meaning, from here, I can go to the normal printing, go to your file, print, and print all pages. This is for the first student. Uh, if you go on scrolling down, you are seeing here it is changing different names, meaning that I've already made for all the 30 students. Uh, if I can, uh, if we check out also on the other documents. The procedure is, is similar. Now let us look at Talifa Kwamzazi. This one is now the circular. This one is reading Edison, a Symphorian. That is the recipient number eight, Elia, Simon, and so forth. You can check them out. We also go here. There's finish and match. We can go to edit in video uh, document. We choose all. After choosing now, this one is being labeled also later. Later one. Try to check this one here. It's reading student name. 
and it goes up to the end. The second one is the one which has Umbari. So this one, the first one, since it has no owner, I can decide to delete the whole circular here. I've deleted the first circular. I'm having the first one belonging to Ambari Omari. It has the first and second page. We have the second one here, Anton Francis. It has the first and second page. We have Blessing Christopher and so forth. It will have all the pages equal to the number of students. Now we have gone up to the end. This one is a blank page. If we look at this circular, it has also no uh, recipient. Uh, if we continue, this one has a recipient, Davis. So we can delete this last one, which has no recipient. Just, just delete it. So I've stayed with only uh, uh, circulars which belong to someone. From there, just to go and print. Because this one has two pages here in the printing, I can print uh, on both sides. If you've already uh, put the printer, you can tell it to print it front and back, front and back, meaning the person who gets this page will also get the following page. This one which follows, follows it. So it prints page one and page two on one circular, three and four on one circular, five and six and so forth. Then even the same happens to our report. If we go to our report, now this is our report. This is where we stopped yesterday. Uh, these are the names of the students. We can look at the name of students. Remember, these ones are many. These ones we made for 300 students. But if you read it up here, it is reading, this is recipient 296. Meaning, uh, if I try to finish, I'll have all the reports for all the 200, 300 students done at once just press here edit uh check out here uh all we we'll wait now this one may take some time because the students are many 300 is a very big number now it has started bringing them this one is blank that is the first one this one looks also it only has subjects information and then now the first recipient would be here, Adelfina Kashaga. And you can see the report for Adelfina is complete. Here at the end, it has already made all the 300 reports. They're here. Where this is report three of th uh, 302. We can delete. Delete these first two blank reports. That's the first one. This is the second one. This one is a blank. They do not belong to anyone. Now that we've stayed with the first one belonging to Adelfina, we have all the information. Adelfina was positioned 30 out of 300. The one who followed the Annette is 62 out of 300. Continuing, this one 58 out of 300. Uh, this one is 60 out of 300 and so forth. 29 out of 300. We can go on up to, now this one is report number 128. Uh, is position 208 out of 300 and so forth. So for me, I can just go order my printer, print all, all reports, all the 300 uh, pages, all the 300 reports. I would have saved a lot. Instead of filling in, I would have filled in just in my email merger. I would have combined all the information in just one sample of report and all reports would be made. I can easily print out all the reports, just the other work would be made more much simpler than you making one report and filling it uh, manually. Now, mail merger is not only used for the, these three things I've used here. You can use it even if it was a letter. You want to send letters to the parents. You want to have uh, invitations. We tend to have graduations make invitations to different people just write the letter you want go to mail merger have the address lines fill in those addresses and then you make it print it will fill in for each individual and at the end of the day you will make your work uh, more beautiful uh, this uh, is our last video today 
uh, what I am going to request uh, each of us to present. Try to make a sample and you are going to send us that sample, both the Excel template and the Word template, the Word document. Try to make your own and we try to see. Feel free, make what, what you can. It may not necessarily be a report, it may not, whatever you want, but we want to see, have you learned uh, the principles? Within that learning, we want you to make your work, you'll send it back to us, we, uh, and then we try to, to mark it. With you, we wish you the best. Welcome back from that demonstration. I think you have seen how we can easily make those reports. We can we see now we can make the circulars, the fees balance sheets. Depending on how many students you have, this can be a mail merger, can be an easier way of making or summing up your work. Feel free to ask the questions where possible, but always practice. Try out with so many different samples. Even if it's five students, try to try to use it. The way we talked about in the video 4, we are now combining what we did in video 4 and what we have done, we are doing today in this video. Try to sum up all your work and produce the final work. Thank you for very much for being part of us. Uh, we wish you the best. Thank you very much.